Hi, and welcome to my 10th tutorial on HTML. Last time we covered the topic of how to create external links on your web page. For example, linking to the New York Times. This time we are going to look at how to create internal links, that is, linking your own web pages together. When we created the external links, we used an absolute link or path. Now we're going to use a relative link and a relative link specifies the name of the file to be linked to only as it is related to the current document. It's quite easy but the first time I did this it was a little confusing so I'll do this step by step. First let's uh, create a, a new folder on uh, the desktop and call it my website. then open a new notepad document and write the following HTML head title the end tag for title the end tag for head body the end tag for body and the end tag for um, HTML and just um, copy this so you have it and we're not going to use any doc type because I want to conserve uh, space this is going to be your main page the one that your audience comes to automatically so we're going to call this for index and inside the body here the part that uh, the audience sees we are going to write uh, this is the index page and we are going to save this file save as desktop my website and we're going to call it for index as a uh, text document save and here it is now file save as again and we are already inside the folder index.html all files save now we have the document both as a uh, text file and as a uh, HTML file we don't really need to do that we could just on the HTML file go in uh, and view source but this is a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial. Let's just go in on the index file to see that it actually works and it does. This is the index page and our title index. Now we need uh, one more notepad document for our page one. Now we have already copied this uh, text so let's just uh, paste it in again and this time the document is called page one and inside the body this is page one like that file save as and we are already inside our uh, my website folder page one as a text document save and file save as page one dot html all files save and here we have page one and index as our text files page one and index as our html files let's uh, click on page one just to see that it works title page one and our text this is page one so we know that it works now let's just put a paragraph tag on uh, our text
just to keep it separated from uh, what's coming now and uh, now the fun begins after the closing p tag here do a return and write here is a link to this will be shown and then um, the a tag now the a tag defines uh, the anchor and this creates a link to another website or another page on your own website and to do this we use the href attribute which specifies the links destination equals quotation mark page one dot html quotation mark end of uh, bracket and now the link text which will be shown page one and now we close the a tag like that now just remember one thing here uh, our document is called page one without a space in between but on our page we have called it page one with a space just so you know file save now what we have done is done on the index file now let's uh, copy this text that we just made and paste it in on page one now since this is page one and we want to get back to the index page we'll write index here and index page here file save so let's see if this works we'll uh, click on the index page title index this is the index page here's a link to page one let's click it and now we're on page one and here we have here is a link to the index page we click it and we're back so now we have communication between two of our pages which was the topic of this tutorial usually after I learn something new I'm very happy but it lasts for around five minutes and then I'm stuck again usually this works perfectly when all your documents or web pages are inside one folder but sooner or later you're gonna have a lot of folders uh, file new folder and let's call it uh, chess and inside chess here we're going to have page 2 and when we do that the same code as we used before we are going to use but we have to add something and that we don't have time to do now but we will definitely continue with that part in our next tutorial because you really have to know that part also good luck I hope you learned something I do have one favor to ask if you like my tutorials put down a like if you don't like them put down a dislike or a comment they take a long time to make and right now I don't know if my teaching skills are adequate and if there are changes needed to be made to them to make them more understandable alright thank you